Well, to come back and, uh, you know, obviously I got a second chance uh, after season three. And then just making it on a team uh, on Team Shakira was an absolute trip. But to move on from that and then to make it to the knockouts, it was, you know, it was pretty crazy. And then, you know, keep moving forward. It's just, you know, it's, it's an absolute dream to still be here. It was a dream to be on a team in the first place, but I never thought I would actually get this far. I mean, I just came in, th you know, thinking I was going to have fun and try to do this, you know, just really enjoy the experience while I had it. And, you know, a lot of people would kill for the second chance, but to actually take that, uh, you know, a step further, it was, it was, it was pretty wild, you know. I just wanted to make sure I got the most out of it I could, and so far it's been nothing but a great experience. Shakira's fantastic. She's, you know, sometimes you expect people to be different off camera, and then they are. She's exactly the same. She's just a great person. She seems like a wonderful mom. Uh, I've seen her a few times with her new baby, and she just seems great, always by the piano, trying to, you know, get her Milan into it and everything. And, you know, so she's just one of the nicest people I've had the pleasure to work with. And sometimes I forget how big of a superstar she is, you know, just because she's so invested in her team. She really wants the best for all of us. So it's, it's, it's amazing working with her. Well, the uh, one of the things I wanted to make sure doing uh, going into even just the blinds, it was um, I wanted to make sure I remembered actually performing because uh, everything else was kind of a blur from last season. So, you know, vividly I remember uh, Shakira. The first thing I heard her say was she was she was pissed at them for not turning around. Um, and I was, to be completely honest, embarrassed. She had seen that performance a little bit. Um, as much as, you know, it's cool that I was memorable enough, but then to come back, I remember, uh, I think it was Battles, she said, you know, I didn't really have any pitch issues. And that was like a huge deal to me because that's one of the main things I had that was an issue. And, you know, you're always trying to improve your pitch. I'm sure, you know, you're gonna see some, uh, some pitch issues in the rehearsals moving forward. But, um, you know, that was one of the biggest things you know, for her to say, and she shared uh, a story recently with, you know, we were, you know, when she was a kid, she used to be made fun of um, for her vibrato and all this different stuff, and, and look how big she is now. So it's like, you know, it's, it's another testament to like, just because some people might not think you're great, if you work at it, you can do anything. You know, the live shows, it's, it's such a big production. I mean, the whole show is huge. Obviously, it's the number one show on TV. And it's, you know, to get onto a stage like that and to see a crowd like that. I mean, at first, it was just being able to perform in front of Usher, Shakira, Adam, and Blake. It was, that was so big. And now we've been around them so much, we've gotten kind of comfortable. And now it's all about connect, connecting with the crowd, connecting with the audience at home and America, you know. So just to know that I'm going to be going on a stage live with millions of people just sitting at home watching in that very moment there's no editing going on it's just we're getting on that stage and we're performing for millions of people you know I remember sitting at home watching my friends from season three doing that thinking like wow that must be amazing and then that was the biggest thing for me moving forward from the knockouts it was like what like I didn't just make it onto a team I didn't just make it past the battles it's like I'm in the live rounds and it really hit me when we started taking the pictures um after we did not knockouts and I looked to my side and there was only three people standing there and I realized that I'm one of the four. So to know that it went from, you know, 50,000 down to 150, down to 32, down to 16, it's just, it's, it's insane. I had never in my life thought I would be in the position that I am with, you know, somebody interviewing me and cameras everywhere and then being able to then go perform and do what I love to do and be able to call that, I mean, if it's a job, it's the best job in the world, but I never thought it would be, be able to call this anything close to a profession, and that's what I hope to do for the rest of my life.